The i1 Pro instrument has a long history in many markets, including prepress, photo, signage, large format printing, or anywhere that calibration and profiling are required. The i1 Pro is in fact the world's best-selling spectrophotometer in history. The recently introduced i1 Pro 3 line is the third generation of this device. There are two versions, the i1 Pro 3 and the i1 Pro 3 Plus. Let's take a look at what's new in this hardware. One of the first differences that you are likely to notice between the two devices is the size of the aperture. The i1 Pro 3 Plus has an 8 millimeter aperture which is almost twice the diameter of the standard i1 Pro 3 with its 4.5 millimeter aperture. On the standard i1 Pro 3 we actually reduced the size of the aperture as compared to the earlier generation devices. For those customers measuring targets with a homogeneous or smooth surface, this can be an advantage as the smaller aperture can measure smaller patch sizes, which results in smaller profiling targets, thus saving paper and other materials. However, for customers measuring materials with a rough or uneven surface, the increased aperture size of the i1 Pro 3 Plus captures a much larger area providing better measurement data. This is perfect for printed products such as heavily textured photo papers, textiles, canvas, ceramics, or any other product with a textured or woven surface. As you can see in this illustration, the area captured by the i1 Pro 3 Plus is more than three times as large as the area captured by the i1 Pro 3. The i1 Pro 3 Plus also includes an easily attachable polarization filter as an accessory. This is perfect for accurately capturing many materials as it helps reduce inaccuracies introduced by specular reflection, those very bright highlights we see when looking at some materials caused by the light reflecting directly back to our eyes, or in this case, directly back to the instrument optics. This helps to increase definition in shadow areas on photographic papers as it eliminates specular reflection from shiny black areas or wet ink. It also reduces specular reflection on fabrics and ceramics, providing much more accurate profiles. The new design of both models incorporates a full spectrum LED light source. This replaces the tungsten technology used in older designs, providing several advantages. No heat buildup, increased repeatability and reliability, greater accuracy, longer service life, and lower power consumption. The optics are protected from dirt and contamination through the use of an optical filter. This filter is easily removed to facilitate periodic cleaning and to maintain the accuracy of readings from the device. The scanning ruler is the accessory that makes hand scanning of printer profiling targets very easy. This component includes a white backer board that is ISO compliant. The backer board contains a clipboard style clamp at the top which prevents the target from moving. The other component is a bar upon which the i1 Pro 3 instrument slides. This makes it very easy to quickly scan the rows of your profiling target while keeping the optics of your spectrophotometer properly oriented over each strip. Since the scan direction does not matter, the software is able to sort that out for us. You are able to quickly scan an entire profiling target 
by alternating the scan direction for each row. The i1 Pro 3 backer board accommodates targets with strips of patches up to 260 millimeters or 12.24 inches in length. If you need to scan larger patch sets, consider the i1 Pro 3 Plus. The scanning ruler for the i1 Pro 3 Plus works in a manner very similar to that of the i1 Pro 3, but there are a couple of important distinctions. First, the size is greatly increased. With this scanning ruler, you can measure targets with strips of patches up to 515 millimeters or 20.28 inches. Rather than the clipboard style clamp, this backer board includes three magnetic bars to securely hold even the largest of targets in position. The i1 Pro 3 and the i1 Pro 3 Plus instruments both have the ability to collect M0, M1, and M2 data in a single scan. The predecessor, i1 Pro 2, was capable of collecting this data as well, but it required scanning each row of patches twice. This cuts your measurement time for patch sets in half. In case this is new information to you, the M0 mode captures color data using no filter and is often used to achieve correlation with older spectrophotometers. The M1 mode specifies a D50 light source with a defined UV component. This is useful when capturing data from substrates that fluoresce or contain optical brighteners, which is actually quite common in photo papers. And the M2 mode excludes the UV portion of the light spectrum, which is useful for building profiles for substrates which contain optical brighteners. The i1 Pro 3 and the i1 Pro 3 Plus have technology built into them that allows them to increase the effective aperture size when in scan mode. This is possible because of the high frequency rate of measurements of which the instruments are capable. While scanning, the instrument evaluates every color measurement that is taken. As long as the entire aperture is over a specific patch, the reading is saved and then averaged with all of the other measurements taken from that same patch. This effectively increases the size of the sample area, which increases the accuracy of the data being collected. These readings are shown as white circles on this illustration. When scanning, some readings will be taken while the aperture is partly over one patch and the remainder of the aperture is over the adjacent patch. The device is able to detect this and discard those readings. These readings are shown as black circles on this diagram. The i1 Pro 3 Plus also includes the ability to build profiles from backlit materials. This is perfect for customers creating backlit signage, using backlit material for special displays, or any other application using transparent or translucent media. This functionality can be used with any commercially available light box. We are able to adapt by measuring the light box as part of the process. Support for I1IO automated measurement of backlit materials is also being added.